Welcome, I am Dr. C with a two doc minds and today on this video, I want to talk to you about imagination. Let's go. I am Dr. C with a two doc minds and today on this video, I wanted to talk to you about imagination and how it is important to your success. If you can recall when you were a child, we were always encouraged, well, most of us to use our imagination, to be imaginative, to play in the sand or to draw with a pencil or maybe some crayons. Little did you know that this was the foundation of being a success in business as you got older or be successful in your career or anything that you did as an adult. The imagination that we have or we're encouraged to have as children are really the foundational ideas of who we are to become as adults and how successful we will be. Some of us were not as lucky as others to have a creative household, meaning that our parents really valued what imagination could bring. I mean, some of us as kids, not myself, but some of us were forced to actually behave as adults and do chores or watch our siblings or, you know, take on small jobs and family businesses. And so we weren't able to enjoy the childhoods that allowed us to explore our imaginations. For me personally, Personally, I was allowed to be somewhat of a child in my own world. I would have times and spaces where I could be in my own head and imagine colors, shapes, or developing or building things. I'd had times and spaces to draw and to explore and to read. I used those times to be a child. And we don't know at the time how valuable that is, how wonderful it is, how much of a gift it is to allow that imagination to develop into your children. Me as a mother, I have children and I try to encourage them, especially when they were younger, to be imaginative, to paint, to go outside and, and draw on the concrete and use some type of toy to build some type of structure. We don't know at the time as parents, we don't know at the time as children that this is something that could actually lead to something great as adults. Because I think as adults, we reflect a lot on our childhood and what we've learned as a child to behave as adults. So that means that oftentimes when we're in spaces at work or we're in spaces and doing public transactions or working in other spaces in our community, we reflect back on the things that we learned as a child to communicate, to create ideas, to communicate ideas. So reflecting back on what we were allowed to do as children, using our imagination is important. And it is key to why we are either successful or we are not successful. So let's think about what that means to have that imagination as a child. I got an article from the National Library of Medicine that states, imagination makes new things out of old parts. It is an act of generating from bits of old knowledge, new ideas and new possibilities. We imagine forward in time, seeing some possible paths ahead and that foresight allows us to predict, plan, and decide. Me reading this gives me indication that imagination is probably the biggest foundation of great business practices, great business decisions, great leadership. Having an imagination as a kid is probably more important than anything that you'll ever learn in school or any type of experience that you'll probably have on the job. You can take innovative ideas from the imagination that you created as a child and be able to apply it to things that haven't been done. You have been able to apply it to things that you can actually forecast into the future. It is just a type of way of thinking that is untapped, that we probably do not utilize enough. So when you look at your coworker or you look at anybody that is surrounded
surrounding you in a work environment and you look at them strange because they start to mind map or they start to scribble down different types of ideas or they start to take pictures or they just look at things not in the way that you look at them. Be careful because they're probably in an innovative stage or in an innovative state reflecting back on that childhood period where they weren't being judged that they could just be sitting in that room living in this new world that they created without anybody's judgment and they were allowed the freedom of thought imagination is so key to anything great that's about to happen and imagination what's great about imagination we all have it no one is granted it no one is gifted it no one has more imagination. Well, this may be true for others and not so much for everyone else, but typically you are allowed to have as much imagination as you want. There is no limit to your imagination. Even as adults, we are simply as adults, the children that we used to be just grown up. So if we reflect back on those times when we were children and playing in the sandboxes and, and climbing trees and laying our minds not be inundated with the thoughts of bills that we have as adults or any other adult responsibilities we have. If we go back to those times where we all allowed ourselves to be free, we can probably find those success markers that we are looking for to achieve our goals as adults. So if you agree with anything that I said or can relate to any of this that I have provided you on this video, I would encourage you to talk about it, explore it a little bit further, reflect on it in your personal time. Promise me that you're gonna sit back and say, hmm, what are some of the things that I used to reflect on as a kid? that I can use today to generate more amazing or thought provoking type of ideas in the workspace that I'm in. If I'm allowing myself or desiring to change the gears of my life and change the direction or course of my career, I'm gonna allow myself to think back in time and say, when I used to think in this way as a child, I came up with innovative ideas. I came up with solutions because I allowed my mind to be free. So this is a good technique to use when you're stuck in a rut, when you're confused about where your life is going or how you can fix a problem. Innovation, imagination, and all that creativity that happened before when you had it as a child, use it, use it today. Use it in a, just sit down in a chair and say, I need a break and I'm gonna reflect on what I need to do. And this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna act like the child that I used to be. Believe me, it'll be a useful exercise. I am Dr. C. Thank you for listening to this video and liking and subscribing subscribing as you can would be greatly appreciated. Come and join us and look at more of our videos. Thank you.